It's my uh, drink at the Felix, it's having a lychee uh, cocktail. We're at the, uh, the Peninsula Hotel. We're at the, uh, the Peninsula Hotel in Hong Kong. It's the rooftop, uh, or it's the highest floor. Uh, the bar is called Felix, and uh, the restaurant's called something as well up here. It's quite nice. It's Hong Kong Harbour out there. I'll give you a better view of that later. Just uh, orientating ourselves to the place. Yeah, it's Peninsula Hotel. It's on uh, Kowloon. Just over here is uh, is Kowloon. We were looking across uh, Victoria Harbour there towards uh, Hong Kong Island. It's Kowloon there. You'll see that from my room. Yeah, just up there is uh, the Felix Bar. It's quite a famous bar in Hong Kong. At least amongst uh, at least amongst uh, tourists. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, the Peninsula Hotel. One thing I want to do is I'll take you into the gents, which I think is this one. We won't uh, video in the gents, but uh, there's nobody else here. So I'll show you, when you take a leak, that's the pisser, that's what you look at. You look at Kowloon. That's the uh, International Commerce Centre building, when you're having a piss. Alright, how good is that? And I'm not convinced it's one-way mirror either, so we'll uh, <coughs> take the lift down. Oh, where's the lift button? Let me just check. How do we go down? Okay. Some of these don't have buttons. Elevator. Aha, there we go. Okay. Chief of Lobby. So that's the place, uh, Felix, on the 28th floor. I'm on floor 20 of the hotel, but we have to go down to the lobby because uh, it's a separate. Uh, Separate lift to come up to the uh, Felix Bar in that restaurant where I was having my lychee cocktail. So we'll walk through the lobby. Um, we'll go up to my room first, finish that off. And uh, I'll show you the pool level uh, stuff and then we'll walk out the front. A couple of lifts we have to navigate. So we're in the Peninsula Hotel, but uh, there's a separate entrance to the Felix and a few fancy shops here. It's the shopping arcade of the hotel, Bulgari. I'll show you the, uh, the back end to the hotel first. This is uh, Kowloon. We're in Kowloon in Hong Kong. It's a uh, Saturday afternoon. My room is way up there. So we're in the uh, shopping arcade bit of the peninsula. The pub that we were at just is called uh, Felix. We call it an American bar because uh, I don't think uh, Chinese people drink that much alcohol. Yeah, we've got some uh, fancy brands here, Bulgari, Hermes, and so on. Cartier. Yeah, the lobby's just through here. Bentley. I'm not sure if we'll have a video in here. That's the lobby. Yeah, so you saw that. I'm not going to embarrass everybody. We'll uh, go up to my room. It's the, uh, so we check in here. On the way down, we'll have a look at it properly. Uh, so I'm on uh, level 20. 
we'll do that first and then uh, we'll come back down. What's the place? Peninsula Hong Kong. Jump on this one. Hit 20. So, lobby is level one. We've got some restaurants on two. Swimming pool is nice. Level eight, you get some good views of the Hong Kong Harbour. Go up to 20, show you the room. 27 is there, you can do a helicopter tour, I've done that before. Helicopter tour around Hong Kong, that's what the China Clipper is. Got any sports fans on holiday again? Nah, China. Hong Kong, China today. This weekend. But I'm going out Singapore for a couple of days. Alrighty, so, uh, this is the luxury uh, peninsula in Hong Kong. I'm in uh, 2001. Let's have a look at that. How nice is that, the peninsula? Okay, that's my room. Tap the key card. It opens. It's a bit of an ad hoc video, yeah? So there's uh... So that's a, a vase, a vase. So the Peninsula is uh, Hong Kong's uh, oldest hotel, 1928. The Grand Dame of the East, they call it. It's the room that you get here. Some sort of deluxe room or whatnot. Yes, yeah, so you get a bedroom, bathroom and store area through there. This is uh, Kowloon out here. So we're on the, uh, the southern tip of Kowloon. So that's the, the waterway, Victoria Harbour, between Kowloon and Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong Island. Hong Kong Island is the left, which you can't see from the room. You saw, you saw Hong Kong Island from the, uh, that restaurant at Felix Bar, because it's on the other side of the hotel, because the street we just walked is on my side of the hotel. Yeah, that's the... The view. Room. Now, the old Hong Kong airport is that strip just there. You can see that? That grey black thing. They're building a cruise terminal there. So that's the old Hong Kong airport. And uh, if you remember, when planes come into land, there's hills on the left. That's those hills just up there. That's the new territories. So the planes fly along there, take a sharp right. I've done it in a flight simulator. She takes a sharp right. I've seen Concord land there as well in real life from the car park at the airport. But uh, take a sharp right and land there. All along the new territories. It's just up there. Yeah, and that's the other side to the waterway. That building there is the International Commerce Center building. That's where the, the Ritz Carlton Hotel is. Uh, I think it's the world, it was the world's highest hotel. I stayed there a couple of years ago. World's highest hotel, I'm not sure if it still is. They do some silly things in Dubai all the time. Yeah, International Commerce Centre building, how's the Ritz-Khan Hotel? Just over there you got uh, Kowloon Park. Uh, it's a bit like Central Park in New York, but uh, not as big. Kowloon Park. Got a little mosque there as well, you can see the white minaret. Yeah, there's a mosque there, amongst other things. That sits on uh, Nathan Road, which is one of the main thoroughfares in uh, Kowloon. That street there. It's where they start the Hong Kong Marathon. Took me two goes to finish, but I did. Somebody's at the door, somebody's at the door. Let's see who it is, and then we'll carry on with the video. It's probably an uh, evening turndown service. Hi. Even so sorry to disturb you. Do you need to turn on the bag for you? No need. Is everything's okay. fine. Okay, maybe I'll give you your water. Thank food. you very much. Cheers. Welcome. Thanks, mate. Bye. Yeah. Maybe I need water for the night. Right, check that on the bed. Alright, so uh Yeah. That's what you call service. So this is Kowloon, alright? Yeah, International Commerce Centre building. That's the Langham Hotel here. There's a famous Langham Hotel in London. That's the Langham in uh Kowloon, Hong Kong. What else is there? Yeah, we were just down on that street earlier. Kowloon Park, Nathan Road, New Territories, those hills. And uh, 
Hong Kong airport. Apparently there's a story about, uh, so 1997 was when this place was handed back to Chinese rule from British rule. Uh, apparently the, there's a road called Boundary Road just before the uh, New Territories or next to it there. And it was only like Kowloon and uh, Hong Kong that was actually a 99 year lease. New Territories, sorry, New Territories was a 99 year lease. Kowloon and Hong Kong was granted in perpetuity. Uh, but I think the Brits just said, well, if you want the New Territories back, you can have it all back. And I say that because it says so on this map. So this is a map of Kowloon. If you understood what I just said there correctly. So it says there, Boundary Street. This is the actual demarcation in Kowloon Peninsula. Sealed in perpetuity 1860 in the New Territories. Sealed in 1997. That's where we are, boys. Hong Kong. Some nice touches in the peninsula here. Like, uh, that's BBC World. Bottle of Bacardi. Like a nail dryer, all right? I bite my nails, but if you've never seen what a nail dryer looks like, that's a nail dryer. Why on earth would anybody need a nail dryer? Uh, I've got other stuff in there, hair dryer. It's quite a nice room, actually. Uh, I got, since we're in China, got a nice little uh, Chinese uh, tea set, or whatever you call it. Nespresso machine. Trendy people. Not that I ever drink Nespresso. Local uh, coffee and tea. It's all the uh, Peninsula brand. Got a uh, fax machine, it's like a uh, Canon printer that you'd have at home. Uh, the minibar's quite nice as well. Got all the drinks in there, bar amenities. A lot of this stuff's just asking to be nicked. Like that, as a hotel souvenir. Got snacks and so on as well. Three o'clock in the morning, can't be bothered to go to the shops. Yeah, so that's the room. Peninsula. It's 440 pounds a night, it's about 650 US a night. That's my gear stored there. The wardrobes. Some goodies in here as well. The umbrellas you can nick. Peninsula Hong Kong. Umbrella. Slippers. Wardrobes, Peninsula Hong Kong. The number of stuff I've nicked from hotels here, yeah, I've never been charged for. You know, they just say, well, it's part of business here. Yeah? Charging you four and what of a quid to stay here. Laundry, that's another one that's going in the bag, that one. These souvenirs to collect, as well as uh, this key card. It's a bathroom, it's very nice, yeah. Good day boys, how's it going? Yeah, so their uh, toiletries are uh, Oscar de Rente. never heard of them. But they've got their own branded, uh, peninsula branded shower caps, cotton buds. There's only about 10 peninsula hotels in the world. Um, I think it's Manila, Bangkok here, Los Angeles, I think New York, I can't remember. Yeah, but there aren't that many. Yeah, so that's the room. I think I've shown you everything I want to show you in here. Yeah, everything's controlled by computers. You touch this, you press all these buttons and uh, you control the place. Like the curtains, you press curtain close, closes. Press curtain, don't close, stops. And you press curtain open. And it opens. It's like Pavlov's dogs. Well trained curtains. Yeah, Carlin. Alright, let's carry on with our walk. I'll take you to the. Uh, yeah, so that's a room at the peninsula in Hong Kong. Alright. Yeah, it's all controlled by these buttons. Let's press one and see what happens. Weather. What's the weather in Hong Kong? 24 Celsius, 81% humidity. Not that it makes a difference. Okay. These lifts are bloody quick. Red light.
about her already. Shrubs there. Yeah, so we'll go down to the swimming pool. Um, there's a little uh, balcony outside, cracking views of uh, Hong Kong Harbour. Um, I've stayed in this hotel once before. Swimming pool is on level 8. Started on level 20. Have you seen that? I stayed at this hotel once before a few years ago. Coincidentally, it was uh, Chinese New Year. So they had a fireworks display on the Hong Kong Harbour. And we watched it. Uh, came on with my mates from school. We watched it uh, on the balcony. Took some great photos. Right, it's the pool. <coughs> we also have a spa here. The pool is the other side, but uh, at least I can show you the pool. Alright, we want video in the pool. See that? Head outside again. Yeah, I'll show you this head outside. Yeah, it's Hong Kong Harbour. We're on uh, level 8. Level 8 of the peninsula. That's uh, Hong Kong Harbour out there. It's, uh, it's coming up to 6 o'clock in the evening. There's a Sheraton next door. That, my friends, is one of the most famous harbours in the world. There's some aeroplanes taking off early, you can see. There we go. What did I say? That's a four-engine jet. The only four-engine commercial air traffic is a Boeing 747 or an Airbus A380. I came here on a Singapore Airlines A380 this morning. Going into the clouds. Yeah, I can't tell what that is. A380 or a 747. We've got YMCA next door, and uh, that's the International Finance Centre building, that's on Hong Kong Island. There's all the skyscrapers on uh, Hong Kong Island. Across uh, Victoria Harbour. That's the uh, Hong Kong Exhibition Centre, I think it's near Wan Chai. Pretty nice, yeah. I think that's the Intercontinental Hotel. They've got a great lobby uh, restaurant bar area. They're cracking views of the harbour at night. Stayed there once as well. Shirt in here. That building there on this side is the Hong Kong Museum of Art. And uh, Hong Kong's famous uh, Star Ferry. Seen from the uh, the Peninsula Hotel in Hong Kong. Another good tourist attraction here is the the Peak, Victoria Peak, I think it's called. You take the uh, Peak tram, so you go to Hong Kong Island, take the Peak tram, and you go up there. Uh, I think it's about 380 meters high, and you get some great views of the city from up there, where those people are standing. That semicircular structure, Victoria Peak, on the Peak tram. Uh, Simsa Shui Promenade just by the waterfront and they've got this thing called uh, Avenue of the Stars just like uh, what is it Los Angeles Sun is it Sunset Boulevard where they have uh, or the Hollywood somewhere where they have all the uh, famous actors stars on the road yeah Avenue of the Stars down there Yeah, an intercon. That guy's got a huge telescope. Yeah, so we were up here for uh, Chinese New Year a few years ago. Had a huge fireworks display, as you might imagine, Chinese New Year, Hong Kong. It's brilliant. It's been on for hours. It's been on for about an hour, actually. It's taking loads of photos.
Yeah, so that's the HSBC building. Zigzag one is Bank of China. Shangri-La, Conrad. Yeah, it's better lit up at night. Hong Kong Exhibition Center. Yeah, that's the uh, the Tao complex. I'm staying on level 20 on the other side. It'd be nice to have a room on this side, but uh, it's the luck of the draw. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. So, uh, all right, what should we do next? Let's get down to the lobby. I've seen the room, I've seen this bit, I've seen Felix. Let's get down to the lobby. And uh, let's look at some Rolls Royces. Let's get the camera up in the pool. All this will get off at the restaurant level. I went down there earlier. I went down there earlier with some uh, security staff. lifts. So, uh, see how cool this place is. So luxurious. So this is a uh, level one where the restaurants are. The, the bar. There's a Japanese restaurant down here. Alright. Let's go downstairs and outside. Let's get downstairs. Let's get downstairs and get outside. I don't think they mind actually. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So this is the lobby. The lobby at the Peninsula in Hong Kong. It's quite nice, yeah? Beautiful. Hong Kong's oldest hotel, 1928. Let's go outside. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so got these fancy Rolls Royces. There for a car. You can take it, you can get it from the airport here or Hire it for a spin. Actually, a wicked car. Just touch it. It's me touching a Rolls Royce. So you always feel safer when uh, you're flying a Rolls Royce powered aeroplane. Yeah, we're just up there. You always feel safer when you fly in a Rolls-Royce powered aeroplane. Well, I do.
This is uh, Salisbury Road. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Intercontinental. Intercontinental in Hong Kong. The fountain out the front of the peninsula. That's the place. That's where I'm staying. Hong Kong's most uh, famous hotel. There you go, the peninsula. 1928 it was built. I think they added the, the higher bits later. You can stand here for hours. Okay, this is uh, Salisbury, uh, Salisbury Road on Kowloon. Um, Let's just walk to the uh, Star Ferry Terminal. The last time I was in Hong Kong was a couple of years ago. Uh, let's walk you to the uh, Star Ferry Terminal. Have a look at Hong Kong Island and call it a day. It's a couple of minutes down here, but I think they might, we might have to go under a tunnel. Some construction work going on. At least to see a bit of uh, real life Hong Kong rather than uh, Sponsor five star hotels like that. Now we have to, yeah, there is a tunnel that we have to go under. Anyway, just soak in this uh, Hong Kong life. Yeah, we saw that curve shaped building from the room. This is Kowloon on an early Saturday evening. Just coming up to uh, six o'clock. So the night is still young. That guy is dishing out somewhere. I saw the camera and uh, pulled away. show you uh, the Star Ferry Terminal, which is how the city is, uh, how it came to be. I think it's one of the busiest ports in the world. But you have all these skyscrapers and uh, wealth associated with Hong Kong. It's a little uh, bus station here, Kowloon uh, Star Ferry Terminal area. So I'll show you Star Ferry on the water's edge, and we'll cut the video. 
We'll uh, continue to walk with the people of Hong Kong on this Saturday afternoon. I see that this McDonald's on the right. That one right there. That's the bus station. That's the famous uh, clock tower. At Simsa Shui Promenade, backs back to the days of the uh, British Empire. Yeah, it's your bus station I was talking about. It's a very busy city, yeah? Lots of people walking around. Well, I guess it's not a Sunday morning or a, a Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, that McDonald's. Been fed there many a time. Alrighty, that will conclude our walk. It's a Hong Kong Star Ferry. And uh, looking out towards uh, Hong Kong Island. Au revoir and Auf Wiedersehen.